Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Zero. Last time, we made it into the lower level of Geofront A in order to help out Jonah find this, uh, kitty hacker that's been bothering him. Oh, yeah, and the lighting seems to be different. Sure, whatever, Lloyd. Oh, maybe. Oh, this one was constructed first? Huh. Wouldn't you think that the, um, the more, you know, the, the one that's, like, right on the street level would be constructed first? I don't know. Oh. Huh. Oh, yeah, everything here seems to be tied to congressmen's interests, and, you know, they're all corrupt. Great. Well, she said that she could. I mean, she trusts in herself. What do you mean? Does she have some sort of secret power or something? Some sort of... Well, she has a hidden past. But, like, Randy seems to have some sort of secret power, too. Huh. Maybe she does as well. I don't know. What is it? Oh! Um, sure. Why not? Everybody else has one. Might as well get one with you, too. Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh, okay. And what do we get? Omega Strike. Nice! And it works the exact same way. Both of them have to use 100 CP, and uh, we can just, you know, annihilate things. I love it! So yeah, we're going to be going through these little um, shoots constantly. Uh, so, get used to it. I love how Lloyd says, Oh, this place is so spacious. And it's literally crawling through air ducts, like, the entire time, it seems. Um, there's some times where we're not, but for the most part, yeah, we're going through these freaking air ducts all the time. Ooh, get a marble ring. That prevents the mute status, so that can come in handy for that. Whoa! <laughs> Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, just the one? Eh, oh, a rat monster. Oh, great, yeah. You probably want to use arts on him if you are playing on a harder difficulty level, because he does have high defense, but I can kill him with two hits, so I really don't care. And let's just uh, keep on moving and grooving right along through here. Whoa! Oh, that little asshole guy. Yeah, run away! I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to deal with you either. Eh. I probably should be fighting them, but more than likely I'll run into them just because I'm really bad at dodging things anyway. Uh, let's see, go over here and just keep on going. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. There's a couple of forks here and there, but nothing too major. Can I get this? No, I can't, but I can go ahead and uh, get a max party advantage on this guy. Ooh, use a team rush attack. Sweet! Sure, it's only one enemy, but why not? These little purple fly guys, since you're not really going to get to see what they do, they can absorb your HP, and they can also absorb your MP, so I'm kind of glad that I was able to kill them uh, before they could do anything to me. What do we have here? Ooh, the gentle coat. Let me show that to you real quick. Um, it's man only, and it actually does have really good defense and art defense. The problem is... Yeah, the martial arts uniform gives five speed, and I like speed. So Lloyd's gonna stick with that until I can find something better, even though, like, his defense is really low, and I probably should give him something better. But I think he's fine. Like, until the enemies start one-shotting him or something, and I really feel like, oh my god, you know, I need to change his equipment around, um, I'm all about the speed. Like, it is what it is. I like the speed. I like going fast, I like getting multiple turns before the enemies can get turns. Um, I just think that that's really the way to go in, well, the Legend of Heroes games, yeah, but in a lot of other games, too. Like, I remember, like, back in the NES days, speed really didn't matter. Like, the thief in Final Fantasy 1. I think all the speed stat did in there was, like, help him run away faster, and that, that like, sucks. Like, that, it just sucks. But as, you know, games got more and more advanced, um, they kind of learned how to use the speed stat. Um, 
and I think that it was perfected, like, probably with Final Fantasy, with, like, the active time battle with, you know, Edge and some other faster characters getting their uh, turn faster. And then, you know, now that we're really into, like, the modern-day gaming, like, they've really figured out how, how well speed is. So you can completely ignore it and focus on, you know, HP, strength, defense, that sort of thing, and create a tank, but I like speed. I like going, uh, multiple times. That's just me, though. Oh. Oh. So the fan shouldn't be on? It's on because of a malfunction? Hmm. So we need to turn off all these fans anyway. Yeah. Oh. How convenient. Sure. Let's go ahead and do it. Ugh. This reminds me of something from, um, Wild Arms 4. It actually reminds me of a blooper reel that I did in Wild Arms 4 because... Oh, platforming. Platforming is just a nightmare for me. Platforming and then jumping, and we had both of them on these moving platforms in Wild Arms 4, and it was just nightmarish. It was awful. Ugh. But yeah, I had a really good time playing that game. It was one of the first games that I let's played, actually. Well, I think the first one I did was Dragon Warrior 5 um, for the PlayStation 2. Ah! Oh, here we have a new enemy. It's just the one guy, though, so yeah. And honestly, I would like to redo some of those older um, let's plays that I did, but it seems like every time I turn around, there's like a new game coming out. It's constant. Um, the latest game that's coming out, I know that that Zwei game is coming out by x -Seed. I'm not sure when that one's coming out, you know. Um, Cold Steel on the PC just came out, and I'm starting to do that one. And it's like I can barely uh, keep up with these releases. I'm doing a gameplay-only thing on that, which I kind of feel weird about doing a gameplay-only um, playthrough of that rather than a Let's Play. It's like there's a part of me that feels like I'm kind of cheating by not doing a Let's Play on that, but eh. Whatever. I put out a poll. You guys seem to like it. Eh, whatever. Um, but, you know, I don't know. That's just me. Let's go ahead and equip that, uh, what is it, like the stride heal that I just got? Yeah, increases the movement, increases the defense, so why not? Oh, and another game that's coming out soon is Summonite 6. And I let's play Summonite 5, so I do plan on um, let's playing Summonite 6 whenever that does release. But I'm not really sure when it's going to release. It was originally supposed to release on, I think August 15th was the placeholder date on Amazon, so I was looking forward to that. But it looks like they pushed it back to, um, what is it, um, September 12th last time I checked, so I don't even know if that's going to be the case. I mean, here's to hoping, but you never know. I'm going to move three there. Um, too bad, I would probably equip that on Randy or maybe Lloyd, I don't know. But it's another, um, what is it, quartz that you have to have uh, both slots opened for in order to use it. So, yeah, if you don't have your slots opened, you can't use it, which kind of sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's see, do I want to go, I don't remember which way I want, oh wait, no, I've already gone this way. Yeah, that's the way I came in, so I want to go this way. There we are. Yeah, I gotta just, uh, keep all this stuff in mind. I'm kind of forgetting what I'm doing. <laughs> kind of losing my mind here. Well, anyway, go on up here, and, uh, what's going on? Everything all right? Oh. Okay. Oh. Whoa! Yikes! Whoa! Oh, yeah. Of course it is! We have to have a boss! We can't just have a stratum without a boss! Yikes! For boss time! Against this big ol' fat-ass bat himself! Let's see what we got going on here. The... Megalo Queen? Oh, it's really weak to water. Okay. But you know what? I do want to show off our new combination craft. The Omega Strike. Whoa! 
probably just use another Omega Strike and just kill him right then and there. And of course he missed. He's completely useless. Um, let's see what I'm gonna use. Uh, ba -ba -ba -da. Ooh, let's use a Hydro Cannon. That's pretty damn powerful. Bam! Or we could just kill him that way. Sure. Two hits and done. Easy enough. Oh, um, somehow. That was really easy, Lloyd. Oh. Yeah, we're fine. Oh. So Randy actually does come in handy after all. Really? We killed it in two hits. How much more efficient do you want it to be? Oh, yeah, they are helping us out a lot. Especially with Ellie's new craft. I really love it. Oh. Huh. Wonder what's going on in your little mind there, Tio. Penny for your thoughts? Okay, well, let's head on inside the uh, terminal place. If you try to go to the left over there, Tia would just say something like, That's not the right way. Go over here. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's what he said to do. I wonder who this kitty person is. Yeah. Really? Like, you have to tell us to turn the speakerphone on now? Like, come on now. Oh my, like, this is what I'm talking about, how I say, like, there's too much text in the game. She's literally talking about speakerphone and selling and saying which button to press to turn on speakerphone. Like, it's just... It, it's stuff like that that just, it just doesn't need to be in an RPG. Just just my opinion, but yeah. I, I, it's just too much. Yeah. Okay, sure. Decoy? What exactly are you using? I thought that Tia was the decoy. Yeah, but I didn't think that you would be safe alone. We know we just wanted to help you out. Yeah, no kidding. And then we had that big boss fight and everything. Not that you really needed our help. You probably could have just, you know, maybe three-shotted it with that water spell. <laughs> yeah, you two don't really have much in common, do you? Mishi? Oh, yeah, the little cat. Huh. There were hidden Mishis back in, um, Nayuta Endless Trails. Such a good game. I loved that game. Is that? Oh, if you say so. I don't think it's all that mysterious. You just like it. Maybe it's like a good luck charm or something. Or it reminds you of something pleasant. I love how he's from Crossbell and he doesn't know what Crossbell's mascot is. Wait, you knew Guy? How did you know Guy? What? Yeah! How come you never said anything before? Yeah, no kidding! How'd you know him? Why didn't you say something? Uh, what the hell? Yeah, what's going on here? Oh! Yeah, he said he was gonna... He was gonna protect some girl. Oh, that's right, I remember this. Yeah. 
I thought that the super cute girl was going to be Renee. I never once thought it was going to be Tio. Oh, wow. Huh. What a small world. Yeah. I totally forgot about that. Oh. And I love how Guy was like, oh, you're jealous? It's a super cute girl and all this. She's nine years old. Come on. Nine years. Who says that? Who says that about a nine-year-old? Besides, like, you know, rubbing them on your head. Oh, you're such a cutie pie, whatever. But, like, no one sexualizes. Like, that's gross. Ugh. Oh. Huh. Wonder what happened there. Yeah, are your parents still alive? Oh, you don't even know. Huh. Sorry, I'm yawning. It's late at night right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's pretty bad. Really? Huh. Do they abandon you? What in the world? Wonder what happened? And why did Guy take custody of you? And if Guy took custody of you, how did Lloyd never meet you? But your parents didn't really want you. Yeah. Well, yeah, I do. And I love how you say from normal humans, like, are you not human? Wait, are you like an android or a cyborg or something? Really? Well, yeah, but I thought that was like your little supersonic cat ears. Oh, wow. Oh, that's kind of... Creepy. Oh, so she really was alone. Oh. That would make you feel really weird, like if you could, you know, your parents would say something to you and they would outwardly express love, but you would inwardly know, like, your parents don't love you. Like, that's rough. That's horrible. Maybe that's why she went to go and live, um, at that hospital and everything. Or that research facility, wherever that cheap guy is. Yeah. Oh, oh, guy gave you the mascot. That's sweet. Yeah. Oh, well, unless he dies, you know, and then he can't call on him. <laughs> Yeah, right around then he passed. Oh. Huh. So you just kind of fell into that. Became a little researcher and all that. Huh. Well, at least we're at least learning about Tio's past. This makes her much more you know, open. I'm kind of bonding with her. Because before she was just some random cat girl that followed me around that was good at computers, but now I'm like, I, I like her, you know? I, I really feel for her. Don't call, don't, don't speak ill of the dead, Lloyd. Don't call your brother stupid. <laughs> He's kind of dead, and I don't think it really matters that, you know, it's a girl, whatever, I'm the sexism, whatever. Oh, what's going on? Is everything all right? Oh, it's Jonah. Oh, Kitty's appeared. Oh, no. Well, who could Kitty possibly be? Find out next time, and let's play The Lend Heroes Trails of Zero. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.